Hi guys, it's Kyle from Regrettable Props, and today I'm showing you how to make a PUBG Level 3 helmet, which is also known as the K6-3, which is Russian military helmet. We're going to be using EVA foam. I'm going to be providing the templates in the description on uh, PDF format for a letter paper, printing paper uh, for that format of that. And then after we cut them out onto the 5 or 10 millimeter foam, we're going to preheat them using a hot heat gun or a toaster oven to preheat the foam to give that bit curved shape and then we're going to start gluing those seams together so we're going to glue those darts together on the left and right halves and then afterwards we're going to glue the longer pieces to those sections that have the darts and then we're going to glue both halves together once doing that you currently see we have the templates here for the face shield and what we're going to do is you have one side and all you have to do is flip it onto the other and I'm going to have an indicator on those templates for where you're going to be needing to add some faux rivets as well as where you're going to be wanting to glue that face shield. Of course if you want you don't have to glue to the EVA foam. Uh, you can make it able to tilt up or down uh, using some Chicago screws but in my opinion or in my build I did not do that. Once we've cut out the two pieces, flipping them over for the face shield, you're going to cut a 45 degree on that rectangle that has that small, uh, that has that window section. And then here we have more curved portions. I'm just cutting them out on foam board. You could use Sintra, you could use possibly Warpla or foam. It's more EVA foam itself. I just went with foam board to give it a bit more rigidity to hold it out. That way it didn't flop around. Um, under the weight of the plastic that we're going to use. And afterwards, you're going to line it up, cut out two of those pieces, and then I'm going to hot glue them into place like you currently see. I just hot glued them on the inside, that way they were secured. Now if you have the floor mat foam pieces of 1 centimeter or 10 millimeters in thickness, you have this outside strip that goes into the interlocking pieces, the puzzle piece. We're just going to cut off those extra tabs and then use the full length of it or the duration that you need and we're going to wrap around the base of the helmet you're going to want to have those pieces that where you you're going to have the side that you cut off those tabs on the outside because you're going to be using some sandpaper or a rotary tool and a dremel to sand that smooth and you just want to have it overhanging a little bit so it has a little bit of a lip and flares out here i am going to be just marking on my helmet where i'm going to be adding some faux rivets these areas that I'm marking myself are going to be already added onto your template and then afterwards we're going to add a large googly eye to connect the main face shield portions to the helmet and then smaller googly eyes to add like full rivets. There I just added a piece of black webbing to act as a strap and then here we got some more oddly shaped templates but you're going to be using a piece of 5 or 10 millimeter foam as a rectangle and then the Thinner, two, the thinner white foam is two millimeters in thickness. You can use one millimeter, and then you need to do this for two of them, and that way you just flip it over for the other side. And these pieces are actually the uh, radio covers uh, for protection for those pieces of the helmet, and then the area where you're going to be gluing it will be marked on your template. So before you actually start gluing all these pieces together, you're going to want to mark out where you need to put everything from the full rivets to where you want the face shield to connect and then where you want these radio protector pieces to cover. Once we have that done we have every piece that we need made out of EVA foam except for these two little pieces here. There are two tabs that go on the side um, that's just more of like a, a on the helmet itself it's supposed to act as like a stopping mechanism for where it's supposed to rest so I just glued it to the outside trim piece first, the base of it, and then I glued it to the face shield. That way I was able to get that uh, curved cor corner piece. Um, you could probably use Sintra or Warbla and just bend that into shape and that way it's more rigid. Um, any of these soft pieces using two millimeter foam, you should actually probably use Warbla or Sintra. Uh, I don't have that yet. Um, afterwards, we've sanded every area, uh, every seam for the most part with sandpaper. Uh, I use 400 grit, you could also use 220 but the finer it is the better and then afterwards just heat sealing it and what we're going to be doing now to fill in the seams is we'll be using quick seal which is a water-based caulking 
which is actually paintable, which is good for us because that way the paint will actually adhere to it. I used quite a bit here on my first coat. <clears throat> I did a couple of coats uh, because the quick seal dries up and recedes a little bit, so even if you think you're good after one coat, do another and you'll feel much better about it, maybe even a third coat if possible. Afterwards, I covered the entire helmet in black paint mixed with Mod Podge. The reason for doing a black paste coat is it helps make the silver uh, better, pop better. And what I did first was I just used black and black paint mixed with a little bit of silver and white to get like this dark gray, uh, silverish color. And then after doing an entire base coat of that, I am doing some dry brushing of that silver I added to my base coat. Um, dry brushing highlighting the edges and then it has like the splatter texture to the helmet and I just loaded the paintbrush up a little bit and then just flicked my finger against it to get some splatter marks on the helmet since that's the type of weathering it seems like it has you guys can just do whatever you so feel for that part um, you could add brown washes black washes make it inconsistent this helmet's going through military service or it's found on the wasteland in the game of PUBG, so uh, have at it with however you guys want to do your weathering. Afterwards, I used acrylic plastic for my face shield. You could use a clear 2 liter pop bottle. Based on multiple reference images, I keep getting a different um, idea of what the color of the plastic is supposed to be. I've seen black, I've seen clear, and I've seen orange, so I just went with orange because that's what I had, but you could also just go with whatever preference. Anyways, it's been Kyle for Incredible Props. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Templates are going to be linked in the description as well as materials. Don't forget to subscribe and like and leave a comment on what you guys would want to see built in the future. I'm going to be posting a build list in my Facebook page, which is also linked in the description. So anyways, have a good day. Bye.